Tommy, John and myself are just leaving Patong, Rutka and Joachim have already started heading back because they're going directly back so they've got a two day trip back we're doing an alternate route the tong certainly has changed a lot since the last time I was here but then again that would almost be 20 years ago I suppose well goodbye southern Thailand just following the coast road exiting the tong very pretty up on the up on the edge just following the ocean very pretty we are just following all these little coastal roads we're off the highway we're outside of Phuket now we're north of Phuket on the other side of the bridge we're just following the coastal roads north to Renong stay off the highway it takes a bit longer but it's a much much more pleasant ride off the beach here, the beach is, you can't see it, it's only a couple hundred metres to the left. We're just <coughs> winding through this back road in between Phuket and Renong. It's just sensational, big sweeping corners, tight stuff, just for a motorcyclist, just awesome. Let's have a look at this. Doesn't get much better than this. Really doesn't. Ooh, she's a tight one, this one. We are still on the back roads up to Renong, probably about 80 k south of Renong. Such a, so pretty through here. Great roads too, mind you, but just the foliage on the side of the roads, so pretty. Day nine, a 330 kilometre ride from Renong back to our hutch of Kirikan, across the mountains and then up the coast, another sensational day's riding. Well, good morning everyone. Palmy, myself and John are just leaving Ranong. We stayed in the farmhouse hotel, beautiful it was, it was great. And we're not far, we we're actually leaving the city, but these are, this is the hot springs area. I'd like to stop here at some stage, but not today. I've been through here before, it's a beautiful ride, this mountain ride we're about to do. We're cutting from the west coast across to the east coast. So from the Andaman Sea, across to the Gulf of Thailand. Nice ride through here. You could never do this ride too many times. Even gets better. We're just cutting through the hot springs as I said, but as we go up it just becomes better and better. Happy days! Indeed. This is interesting. I haven't seen this before. Have a look at the monkey on the back of this. It's actually a monkey there and there's another monkey in the net up there. What's a bit odd? One monkey's on the back, he's just wandering around by himself. The other monkeys they've got netted in. The baby monkeys, so I don't know what the fuck that's all about. Interesting.
back through Champon again along the coastline rather than going up the highway. Nice through here. We came down this road southbound as well. You don't have a lot of choice and we don't want to go on the highway. Pretty windy here today. So we're kind of sort of in Champon. We're actually yeah. on the yeah. coastline here. We've stopped for lunch oh. and we stopped for lunch and this is our view. We're actually sitting on the beach over the water. As I keep saying, it doesn't get much cooler than this. Gee, life's hard. I don't know how I survived. After nine days away, we're back in Pratchip Kirikan on the coast, uh, on the Gulf of Thailand. We were here on our first night, um, and now we've worked our way back, but from here we're going to head up to Kanchanaburi. Just thought I'd show my Aussie mates this room. Um, it's pretty old, but pretty tidy, king bed, reasonable size room, fridge, yeah, bathroom. But this is what I really wanted to show. Look at the view from the balcony. What's the beach road down there in the pier? Not bad, eh? For 1200 baht. So put that in perspective for my Aussie mates. That's um, 50 Aussie dollars. Day 10, Monday the 7th of February, we leave Pratchett Kirikan, 336 kilometres actually up to Kanchanaburi. The ride's okay, it hasn't, this ride's nothing like the previous days have been, but then again, we didn't expect so. I'm going to spend a couple of days R&R &R in Kanchan. The lads and I are just leaving Pratchett Kirikan. Beautiful morning it was. Heading north to Kanchanaburi on once again, never on the highways. Beautiful here, quiet little town, not much to do here, but quite picturesque. I've got a new appreciation for it. Three five one zero. A lot of straight roads, but interesting though. The the land here has gone from quite um, lush to quite arid. A lot lot drier through here than what it has been so far. Yes, we're entering sort of towards, I guess, the northern part now. But I'm surprised at the significant difference in terrain. This road's a real shit. They're potholes you can see. Been destroyed by trucks. God, what a shit of a road. Ah, wow, look at this mess. Ugh. The 3209, just I don't know, about 15 20 k south of Kanchanaburi. It's a pretty hot day, so we'll have to do the obligatory thing and stop at our favourite bar, Sue Bar, for a quick one before we go to the hotel. Just for medicinal purposes, of course. <laughs> We're still about a hundred kilometres from home and the worst electrical and rainstorms just opened up on us. Holy Jesus! 
we were soaked in two minutes flat. You can't see not five feet in front of you on the goddamn roads. There's lightning striking, you know, within a hundred feet of us. God damn, what a way to end a brilliant trip. Anyway, as I always say, life can be ever so friggin' short, therefore, live life today for Christ's sake. Happy days!